Hey guys, I think you all are really going to like this pixel mater tutorial, so let's just jump right into it. Here's what we're going to end up with. As you can see, we're going to make the Aurora Borealis. Kind of like the leopard thing, but not quite as polished, huh? But uh, we're going to get you started. We're going to make a Aurora Borealis. Not time to copy what Apple's doing because theirs is just, you know, got professional graphic artists doing their stuff, but we're going to make just a regular old Aurora Borealis, you know, not have anything to do with Apple. So we're going to start on a fresh Pixelmator palette. So let's get rid of everything so I can have a clean plate here. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick my fill tool and I'm gonna make my color a dark blue, like this right here, and I'm gonna fill that in, okay? I'm going to make another layer now and I'm gonna get my gradient tool and let's pick a multicolored gradient here and let's go through here and make us a gradient like this. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so now we've got this gradient on top of our blue layer. Let's grab our lasso tool. You can see my tool options here. And I'm going to go around here and I'm going to draw just a freehand shape like this. Release the mouse button and it'll close the selection. Now I'm going to go up to Edit and I'm going to select Inverse. Okay, now after I've done that, I'm going to hit the Delete key. And that gets rid of my selection, as you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to go up here and pick Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to blur the edges of this a little bit. Like so, about three. Okay, now I'm going to go get my eraser tool and make it about a 41 soft brush. And let's go through here and I'm going to switch back and forth different sizes. The more you press, if you double click, the hole will get bigger. Let's do a few more down through here that's solid. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. You know, it's up to you. You can perfect it and critique it however you want. Okay, now we've got these holes in here. I'm going to go up to Filter, Stylize, Pointalize. And I'm going to reduce the radius until I get just a little bit of white in between, like that right there. And I'm going to select OK. Okay, now I'm going to go back up, select Filter, Blur, Zoom. And I'm going to use this. I love this little Pixelmator interactive deal that you got going here. So you can, where you want the center of your zoom to be. I'm going to put it about right here. Turn my amount up. And now look what we got. And I can take this, as you can see. Don't you just love that? Such a unique idea they got going on there. And let's say OK. OK, now we got this cool Aurora looking deal. So let's make us maybe a few stars. Let's go in here, make another layer. Let's grab our paintbrush, make sure we're on white, like so. And let's make it really small. We'll make some small ones around like this. I'll go up in here into the Aurora itself and click a few. Now I'm going to get a bigger size and we're going to make some bigger stars if you want to go in and find these you can with the tile in the tile menu I'll show you what that's all about and maybe if we want to stick a big one here or there we can okay so now let's go to um, I'll show you, go to Tile and Affine, which I'm not going to use this filter, I don't think. You can see what it does. Now it's kind of give us our stars here. It, makes, it looks a lot better. It's give us more of them. It's tiled our stars. And you can affect the scale like this and the um, angle. Okay, so that's going to be okay. And if you want to, you can even put a little Gaussian blur on them if you want. And there we go. We have our Aurora Boral. If we now 
let's put our stars in the middle and if you want to you can change that to uh, the blend mode to hard light if you want let's pick our Aurora and let's pick maybe no not that one how about color dodge there we go color dodge so we set our Aurora Borealis layer to color dodge we set our star layer to hard light and then we have our regular untitled layer and as you can see we have a beautiful looking Aurora um, if you want to I've done one with a couple laid on top I done a, a Aurora like we just did and then I done a second one and blended them together and now as you can see I have the blue and a second orange Aurora on top of the one we just made I just went ahead and done that myself so all you have to do to do that is just go in and make another layer just like this one and then change the blend mode till you get what you want so here's how you make the cool Aurora inside Pixelmator. I really hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time.